Hi, you guys. Sack BBW916 here. Still sitting here. A little bit bored. Um, stuck on the couch still. But I decided to do another uh, set of nail polish swatches for my collection. And decided to show you guys how it ended up turning out and exactly what it is I do. So first of all, I get um, the nail polishes that I plan to use. And like I said, usually I only do a few at a time. Um, but this is actually more than what I use right here. This is, um, like nine, nine. So anyway, also this is the nail wheel that I use. Yeah, this is what all the colors are. As I said, I basically, um, do every other one. So, you know, for a couple of different reasons. One, it makes it a little easier to, it, um, if I make a mistake and actually hit one, um, you know, it usually takes, you know, that chance away that I actually, you know, get nail polish on another one. Because sometimes, like, if you, like, with a clearer or a lighter nail polish, you may not be able to cover that up and you've wasted a nail. Anyway, um, you know, this first one here. Uh, yeah, this first one here is that chocolate one that I showed you before. And it's still here. Um, basically, where'd it go? You know, it's still here. Um, but what I did, that espresso one, that's what it's called, espresso, not chocolate. Um, the nail cracked even more, split all the way up. So I'm going to, I just redid that one. And then I did like a silvery polish. That's the next one that you see. You know, and then going down, that's that pink one. That next purple one, I love it. It's called, um, uh, no shrinking violet. So that's that one. And then we have a wet and wild one. I really like how the wet and wild ones cover with two coats. The next one is called uh, something lilac. It's like a very light, 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 you know, probably a three coat, but this is only two coats of that color. This lilac one right here. It's called lilac pastel. And then going down the line is another wet and wild one. And then I wanted to do a red. And actually, for as bright as that red is, I don't know if you guys can see it. You know, it did not come out. You know, it looks like almost like you would need a third coat on here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So, you know, if you guys don't want a deep, deep, deep red, you know, then that may be a choice. And also, I wanted you guys to see how a, a glitter one will cover. You know, a glitter, I just, at first I wasn't going to do the glitters because I figured, oh, it's glitter. But some glitters, you know, they have big pieces, you know, um, and some have little bitty pieces. Some glitter uh, polishes, you may only get a few specks of glitter um, on your nail. But, I, you know, so in two coats, this is what this one did, and that is a wet and wild one. You know, I have some other ones that have bigger pieces that, you know, anyway. So this is how I did that, and then so basically... You know, what I would do is basically bend the nail back and forth until it snaps off. And then put a ball of adhesive putty and then just simply press it to uh, the nail. Make sure that your ball, at first I, I was using too much. And as you could see in some of the, in the previous video, some of the uh, putty was oozing out over, through the nail. And so, you know, it's going to take a minute to figure out the right size. Because I also noticed that when the... Um, ball is, of putty is too small, you end up pressing too hard trying to make the ball, the nail stick to the top, and it cracks the nail um, where it's bent. So, you know, you'll figure it out and find out what works for you. But anyway, again, that's my, you know, little project that I'm doing. i still got lots of polishes to go. It'll be interesting. I found some duplicates already. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, so I just put the duplicates that I know I had to the side. So what's going to happen is as I take each, um, every other nail polish off, it'll be almost a basically empty wheel. All right. You guys have a great day. I'm going to actually try to get up from here. I'm going to end up going out in my jammies um, because I don't want to risk getting up the stairs again just to change my clothes to go out. But I got to go get my newspapers and probably something to eat. So, you know, since I haven't eaten today. <laughs> so, anyway, talk to you later. Bye.